Tango 30. 10 50 in front of Coral Springs Elementary. Let's see your license, please. I leave my wallet. Okay. Are you the restaurant of the vehicle, sir? No. Okay. So you're driving with no license, too? You have the registration and insurance? You don't have no kind of identification with you? No, I'm left my back. Okay, do you have a license though? License? No. Do you, okay, so when I asked you for a license, you said, yeah, I left it on no, home. I got my ID, I got ID. Okay, so why didn't you say that when I said your license, you said I left it on home. Now you're saying you have an ID. I got ID. Okay, so you do not have a license. No. So why didn't you say that in the beginning, sir, that I do not have a license, I have an ID, not I left it on home. That's what you said in the beginning. Yeah, but do not get out. Keep looking for your ID. I'm going to take, take the kids. I'm going to make sure to go to school because it's your fault. Go, hey, hey, little ones, come with me, okay? I'm going to call somebody. No, yeah. Stay right here. Stay right here with me. Come on. Come out. I know you need to go to school. Stay right there. So do not move. You understand that? Hold your guys' hands. Hold your hands. Oh, you guys, hold your hand. Hold my hand. Whoever's the first one. Hold her hand. Hold her hand. Okay. Is that the, your kids that he's dropping off? Yes, is it, are they in the car? No, no, I already walked them to school. They're okay, they're at school. But he cannot move, he only has an ID card, supposedly. So I'm either gonna tow the car or somebody comes and gets the car. Gentleman decided to drop off his kids. Well, kids in the middle of the roadway. I asked him for his license, he left, left it at home. And then he said he it's his ID, so I don't know why people don't just Straight out, say they don't have a license. Straight out, your ID card it's suspended ten times. A lot of them are criminal tickets, which is basically you either somebody stopped you and give you a criminal ticket because you don't have a license. So that's a criminal ticket. That's a misdemeanor offense. Like right now, you don't have a license. That's a misdemeanor. So somebody stopped you for what you did, dropping off kids. You don't have a license. That's a criminal ticket. You know that, right? Okay. How many criminal tickets? Because you showed me a, a ticket earlier. What's that one that you show me? No, the first one you show me. What? Where? There's one that you show me, no? Okay. Well, you've been stopped other times before. This is not your first time being stopped. You understand? Yeah. Long time, 2022, 2021, 2023, 2024. Yeah, he's been stopped for like criminal citations, which most likely for him not having his license. You're gonna get five tickets. You're not getting arrested today. You understand that? You should be arrested today, but I'm not going to arrest you. He's been stopped many times back this year, last year, 2022, 2018, 2015, 16. It's criminal. Some criminal ticket, and I was probably because he doesn't have a license, and it's just criminal. He caught my attention. How did he caught my attention? He dropped the kids off right in the middle of the roadway. Really? You're putting your kitchen life at risk? That's a no-no. He stopped. The kids getting dropped. Now he catch my attention. That's a safety issue now. Okay. That's what I'm here for. Right. Kids are first right. when I work here. So one, your ID card, I get it without knowledge. Two, you don't have insurance. Once you show insurance, right. that one gets dismissed. I mean, it's like, you know, that's how easy it is, okay? Three, he never showed me a license, which he didn't. He right. showed me a picture of my ID card. Right. Once he gets a permit, let's say if he fixes everything before that date, and he gets a permit or anything like that or a license, that one gets dismissed. Not showing my license gets dismissed. Driver's license done. That one gets dismissed. That's gonna be, uh, be a pretty hard one. But yeah, but the thing is, try to take care of it, and then. But once we go to court, we can explain it. Yeah, yeah, you can explain to the judge. And correct. Then, and here, because we have we have evidence of the clearances and the fees and everything that we've been doing this. But the judge, but the judge gonna say two things: why you drive off the kid in the middle of the roadway, and why knowing that you have an ID card, why you still driving. Those are the two questions he's gonna ask. Yeah, right. So be ready to answer those questions to the judge, not to me. Right, right. But, okay, and then the other one, he dropped the kids off on the roadway. That's a fifth ticket. It was right here? No, it was right here. Right here. He made it sound like the kids could have stayed right here and then crossed Yeah, I come up to this one. Let me oh, do that job. So yeah, yeah. Job. he leaving that place of safety. Yeah, this is the line. He was in line. He was in line because they were going in. Right, right. And uh, they'll open up the gate, and then he okay, just decided. my son is 10, so I need to I need to sign all them tickets. You're not meant to guilt. You have to go to court. Okay. It's on your ticket, okay? No, all them about my name. Okay. You're doing your job, you know? Yeah. And 
Uh, right now, Officer Charney, which is the other aggressive driving officer, uh, I guess he has a seized tag order and the driver is the owner of the vehicle, so we have to take the tag order. So I'm gonna back him up right now. Tango 30, uh, put me out with Tango 31. So we're gonna help him out. Ma'am, do me a favor, shut off the vehicle, please. I'm gonna explain to you in a minute what's gonna happen, okay? Yeah, shut off the vehicle, that's all you need to do. For those who are wondering, I stopped this vehicle for going 36 miles an hour in a 15 mile an hour school zone. I met the driver, her license is not good. It's actually suspended. It's been suspended for one year approximately. Uh, she's already been given two citations, one in Miami-Dade County and one in Palm Beach County. Those two counties surround Broward County. So she's telling me she doesn't have knowledge of her license being suspended. I'm trying to search what the citation was for, the ones that she got in the other counties, but she has no insurance on the car and there's a seize tag order, which means the state of Florida wants me to take her license plate, seize it, and then the car gets towed. She told me she doesn't have insurance. It's been almost a year now. This is why I'm towing the vehicle. The totality of the circumstances, I can't just have her parked on the side of the road. She's not allowed to drive. Plus there's no insurance. So if someone else comes and drives this car, now there's a car on the road with no tag, no insurance. It's, that's why we're towing this vehicle. Make sure you get all your valuables out, your phones, whatever you need to. Uh, like I said, just leave us the keys. Uh, I had to do inventory of the vehicle, so I have to get in your vehicle. Um, make sure because if somebody gets stolen in there, then basically it's on them, not on us. Okay. Her mom's picking up from Parkland, so she's on the way. She just right. the keys there. All right, so look, I'm issuing, uh, I have to seize your license, so it stays with me. Okay. okay, same thing with your tag, like my partner already probably explained. This is the tow slip, that's your copy. Okay, this is a pamphlet about school zone laws and why you shouldn't be speeding in the school zones like you were doing. I'm issuing six citations. One's for speeding in the school zone, the whole reason for the stop, your driver license suspended without knowledge, uh, no proof of insurance because you don't have any, seat belt because you're sitting on top of your seat belt, it has to be around your body, not under it, uh, expired tag because your license plate, it expired back in uh, April, that's a ticket, and your license itself is expired. So you have to renew your license. You never did that probably because it was suspended because last year in May, now we're in August, they suspended it so they probably wouldn't allow you to. So I have to go with without knowledge because I can't prove that you had knowledge. So hopefully you're telling me the truth. But I saw you already got tickets from Dade County and you got a ticket from Palm Beach County and you never took care of it. So I can't search up those tickets for some reason. The website's down, so you're lucky. But if it was for suspended without knowledge, I'm telling you right now, it would have been a criminal. You could have been arrested or you could have gotten a criminal citation with a court date. So I'm just giving a heads up. The driving needs to stop until everything's fixed. No more driving as, and no more driving with no insurance, especially speeding through a school zone. It's ridiculous. Hey, do you have the, ma'am, do you have the key to the car? I'll take that key. See, here we go. Somebody dropping off their kid. Tango 30, 1050, Cold Springs Elementary. Morning, Officer Bada Balarama, Cold Springs Police Department. The reason why I stopped, you cannot just drop your kids off in the middle of the roadway. Oh, okay, because yeah. I'm, oh, no, no, it's not, yeah, you don't know. That doesn't matter. You could drive in there, drop them off in there, that's fine. Okay. But like everything else, you cannot drop them off in the middle of the roadway. You got your license restriction proven insurance. That's very dangerous what you just did. Somebody rear ends you, you're going to get hurt and your kids are going to get hurt. All right, the reason why I stopped this fine gentleman is that he decided to stop in the middle of the roadway and drop off three of his kids right in front of the school, which uh, he's not allowed to do. He could have gone into the school and dropped them off really easy. There is a driveway over there. He says it's his first time, but you know, who knows? Um, he can't find his insurance card. I guess he was gonna call his insurance to send him the insurance card, but like I said, my advice is download it, save us a picture. Keep it on your phone. That's the easiest step. All right, sir. This is a ticket for dropping off your kids in the middle of the road. But you cannot do that. That's very unsafe. Okay? You got to take care with the uh, 30 days. It's $166. You understand that so far? How much? $166. $166. $166. Okay? Take care of it within 30 days. If not, the state will suspend your license. You understand that so far? Okay. In this blue paperwork, three options to take care of your ticket. One, pay the ticket. Okay, there's a phone number on the website in here. Two, driving to school. And then option three, you can go to court. Go ahead and fight it yourself by pleading not guilty. There's a phone number in the back so you can call and they'll guide you each step. A lot of people like to do uh, those ticket clinics too. You can do that on your own too, okay?
43. Morning, officer of the Rama calls from police department. Reason why I stop you, 43 on a 50 mile per hour school zone. I see your license registration proof of insurance, please. He'll stop going 43. That's 28 over the speed limit. Ah, 28. I believe it's $456. Yep, $456 citation in the school zone. Go ahead. No, this bench is calling me that uh, there's a cease tag order for the restaurant on the vehicle. Now, where it's the state wants a tag back, but he's not, the driver's not the owner. Different person. So, we don't have to take the tag away. If that's the case, if the restaurant owner wants the driver, then basically citation, then we would tow the vehicle then. Then, yes, because now the vehicle doesn't have a tag. But state, order we have to take it out and then send it back to the state this is a privilege in the state of florida to drive in the roadways of florida so it's a privilege to have your license and have your tag even though you pay for it you still have to abide by the law all right sir this is a ticket for going 28 over the speed limit in a school zone if it's normal you would have been fine because it's a 45 normally yes but you're going 43 the only vehicle it's $456 just to let you know. Take care of it within 30 days, okay? 40. Morning, ma'am. Officer Barba de Rama, Coastal Police Department. 40 on the 50 mile per hour school zone. You have a license registration proof of insurance, please? I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was going to pass. Okay. Well, that's the reason why I stopped you, 40. Just going 40 on. Uh, 50 more power school zone. She says she didn't realize that she was going that fast. That's 25 over, so that's $456 right there on the school zone. All right, ma'am, this is a ticket. Yep, for going 25 over in the school zone. That's a lot. You gotta slow down, pay attention to that blinking yellow light. I'm, I know those are working, because we have to check before we even start doing any enforcement. Because if they're not working, you were on the right, I would never stop you anyways. No, I okay. Okay, so make sure you take care of this ticket. It's a $456 ticket. Oh, speed. Morning, hold. Yep, hold on, man. Officer Bada Bada Rama, Coast Street Police Department, 62 and a 45 before you go over here. License registration, proof of insurance, please. You gotta find my insurance, right? Yep. It could be on your phone, too, if you have one. Uh, yeah, honestly, I might have to have my mom send it if that's alright. Give me a second. It's gonna take a while. Okay, yes, stay in the vehicle, that's all. Okay. He knew he was speeding. He has to call his mom for his insurance card, I guess. I don't know about the work vehicle. I don't know if it belongs to him or not. All right, so that's fine. This is, this is a ticket for going 62 and a 45, 17 over. It's gonna okay. Be, yeah, it's gonna, okay. yeah, it's a $256 ticket. Take care of it within 30 days. Also, over here in the intersection, don't pull up. Yeah, Try to take, Stay back. Okay. Make sure it's clear and then go. Because gotcha. a lot of people think to basically, if you're doing that, you're creeping up, you might get out of their line, okay. and then next you know, you get hit. You know, Absolutely. technically it'll be your fault. Yes, to let you know. Appreciate uh, it. Just stay back like I did, and then once it's clear, then I would step gotcha. on the gas and go. Gotcha. Do um, you need the insurance or no? Yeah, that's fine. I see it. I okay. saw it when you were waving it. Thank you. Uh, just take care of it within 30 days. 62? That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, I knew I was hauling eyes. That was my fault. Uh, I figured you'd probably see me or whatever. I, mean, I you saw can't you see. going the other way. I'm like, he's going to pull me. And then yeah, I was like, I was like, uh, <laughs> I knew right away. And I was like, is he going to slow down? Nah, he's not. I'm, I'm not like, okay. Throw, I'm not even going to throw stupid issues. Like, I'm working, but it's my yeah. fault. I'm speeding. So. Yeah, you have to be careful. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem, huh? Morning, sir. Officer Baraba de Rama, Coach from Police Department. Two reasons why I stopped you. One, you took a right turn from the wrong lane. Two, you took a right turn from the red light. The right light was red. So that's two violations you committed. So can I see your license registration proof of insurance, please? Um, you know, um, I, I just dropped my son off. And you know, I take this every day. I was very careful, I was very slow. But mm, not really. It's a moving violation. It's a moving, both, um, both of them, yes. Well, we'll go for, with the first violation, taking a right turn from the wrong lane, but I'm still gonna put whatever, in the school zone anyways. So I let the judge decide whether he wants to charge him double or yes, the one single 166 fee. All right, sir, so you're getting the ticket, taking the uh, right turn from the wrong lane. It's $166. I could have given you both, but I only decided one. They might charge you double due to the fact that it's in the school zone. That's not up to me, that's up to the judge. You understand that so far? Okay. Because I did check school zone area, which is the school zone. Either way, you gotta take care of that ticket within 30 days. If not, the state will suspend your license. I suggest be careful, okay? You're only getting one out of the two. 
All right. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Officer Bada Balarama, Coast Marine Police Department, 65 and 45. Yes, now you have your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. For registration, I is in the house, and the house is right here. Okay, you stay into the vehicle, okay? Thank you. She was going 65 on the 45. Class is going that fast. So it's 20 over, $281 ticket. She's showing me an expired card of 2020. Uh, for insurance. Insurance is only good for a year. And then she just told me her research and she left that house. All right, ma'am. Look, you could have gotten three tickets. I'm only going to give you one for the speeding. You did provide an insurance card, but this one's expired since 2020. 4320. Let's get the updated one, put it in your wallet, okay? Because this is only good for a year. That's when insurance only lasts. It's only to 2021. Okay. It's the uh, same policy always. Yeah, but so you got to have the updated. If you do get into a crash, you have to have the updated one. Also, make sure you get the registration in your car. That would have been an odd ticket. I both. Did. I yeah. Just, I, yeah. Both. I, both. My of them, birthday was last week. I just yeah. put the plate on. So. Both, they, both of them could have been just a 10 dollars each. But if you don't pay before 30 days, then it could be 115 so yeah, just be careful. Take care of that speeding ticket, $281, just to let you know, before 30 days. If not, they say, we'll suspend your license. You gotta slow down here though. 20 over, that you're going as fast as the sawgrass right now. Morning, Officer Bada Valderrama, Coast Marine Police Department. 65 on the 45 before you got to the red light. You have your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. And your insurance card, please. Okay, Same insurance, but she doesn't have a new car in here. Gentleman will stop going 65 on the 45 back over there before he stopped at the red light. Uh, I guess he said he left his license at home. All right, sir, look. I have sent me the insurance card digital. That's fine. You could have gotten three tickets, but I'm only going to give you one. The reason why I stopped you going 65 on the 45. Okay? Because you have to have your license with you. That would have been an odd ticket. And your insurance, once I ask, you have to provide me that information, whether it's saved on your cell phone or you have the card, either or, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I would suggest, take a picture of your license and just in case you have something. Yeah. You gotta slow down though, 20 is a lot, okay? Thank you, no problem.